Now I want to talk to you about your personal online presence, which is going to be an online resume or portfolio because people are going to Google you and what will show up, you know, Facebook photos, random vacation pics or videos. You want to control these results and you also want to show people that you're a professional. So I want everybody in the course to do this, no matter what else you do. Um, I want you to have a site and the site that I'm using as an example here, I'm going to show you a bunch of different examples. This is Melissa Burns and we're going to use the exact same theme that she's using. Um, you can just see, look at how professional this looks um, and it doesn't take that much work to get set up. So even if you just have a couple of pages, it's just going to change your perception, how people perceive you so much. So what you're going to do is, um, you know, I want you to go and buy yourdomain.com so whatever your name is dot com get hosting like I went through in unit uh, 14 and put in WordPress and then install what we call the promotion theme that theme there um, and again I said this is Melissa Burns not me it's very professional with some of her own personality and I'm gonna put a link to her site a link to all these resources and now I'm just gonna walk you quickly through this and I'm, I'm also gonna do another video like this um, or post this video all over this course because I want everybody to have this at the very least so that you have your own sort of online resume. So in case you didn't make it to section 14 or you know you need a refresher, just want to go to GoDaddy and get your domain. Now nobody has my name.com. If, if it was taken I could also do one of these other extensions and actually .me is actually a good extension to do for a personal website. So I'm just going to go and purchase this. Whenever I purchase a domain, I do one year. I keep my personal information public because I don't care. They're just going to try to get you to buy a lot of crap you don't need. You want to remove this crap that they're going to give you. You don't need that. Uh, promotional code. Uh, That was invalid. Let me go grab one. I actually, what I always do is I go to Fat Wallet, coupon code GoDaddy. There it is. And I see 30% off new products is CJC FW off 30. So let's try that. CJC FW OFF 30. Boom. And then just go to the checkout. So I bought the domain, so I just go over to my uh, domain manager here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, there it is, manage my domains. And I'm just gonna go down, see I have a ton of domains here. I'm gonna go to sethhimes.com and I'm gonna change my name servers. And if you haven't done this, or you probably do this a bunch of times when you have new websites, um, I'm gonna change it over to my hosting, which is HostGator. Now, I already have a HostGator account, and if you scroll down on your HostGator account at the bottom, you're gonna see this is your name server. So I take my name server here, I just copy it over here, do custom. copy and paste and that if you know if you hadn't done this already that points the uh, domain name sethheims.com to my host just click save and I just have to wait now it's gonna take take maybe a couple hours to to go into effect now if you already have hostgator that's great if you don't have hostgator yet follow the link go in here and buy the um, let's see here Click on Get Started Now and you want to grab the baby plan because that lets you have unlimited domains. Um, and what you want to do is, you know, you probably, I say, I, I recommend using GoDaddy. I've put in like SethHimes.com, SethHimes.com. Um, I would do the one month, month to month. And... When you come down here, you want to uncheck all this crap. And then put in coupon code Seth Jared. 
So that's easier to remember than my full name. And what happens, you're actually gonna get um, $9 off, so it should be one penny. What is, they still, oh, take that off. Now it's just a penny. And now you sign up for your hosting, you log into your account, and you're gonna get into a screen that looks like this. Now, if you just, just signed up for HostGator, you can skip this step I'm about to do. But in my case, I have a ton of domains on my one account. Um, look at all these sites. <laughs> so I have to tell HostGator that I've just added a new site and that they should expect it. So I have to go to add on domains and I'm gonna just add my new domain name, which in this case is gonna be setheims.com. Put in my password. Add the domain, this keeps happening, stop. And it added the add-on domain, sethheims.com. Now if we go over to sethheims.com, you're gonna see that right now, it's the same stuff that uh, was on the GoGo Local SEO. That's cool, it'll just take a little bit to get set up. And I'm actually going to go back to this home screen and pause this until that happens. You may, you may have to wait a few hours or even a day for everything to what they call propagate. Okay, well that didn't take very long at all. If you go to sethheims.com now, you're gonna see this, it's gonna say index of, and this is basically just like a bare open, bare ass, naked, like exposed website. Like, oh, don't look at me. <laughs> so. Uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to install WordPress. So I'm going to log back into HostGator and they're, you know, they're going to be changing their interface soon, but it's going to have kind of the same basic idea. Right now I'm going to go to Quick Installer and I'm going to click WordPress and I'm going to click Install WordPress. And it's that easy. And I just pick the domain that I want to install WordPress on, which is going to be sethimes.com. I put in for my email. Um, actually, one of the things I want to do first, this is just a little tip, because uh, you may end up getting spammy email to this account. I am just gonna add an email address, and that's really easy. You just click on email accounts, put in, so I'll put Seth at Seth. And if you already saw this in the other video, I apologize, you can skip ahead. Sethheims.com. Put in my little password, unlimited, create the account. And now, I always forget about that, because I didn't really want to get all these notifications to my Gmail account. So now again, I go to quick install, click WordPress, click install WordPress, add sethheims.com, put in seth at sethheims.com. Seth Himes is the title of my blog. Admin user, I'm gonna skip that so y'all don't see it. And then I click install WordPress. And I go, no thanks, I'm a web designer. And it's gonna do the installation. And then I click here and it's gonna be my username and my password. And I go here and I'm gonna type in my username and password and, and boom, here I am. I have instantly created a WordPress website at sethimes.com and it happened so quickly. Well now, uh, this still doesn't look that professional. Now I am going to install this theme so that I can have a kick-ass looking personalized website. So let's go over to themeforest.net. I have a link below. I wanna find this promotion theme. Animated CV, this is, this is a great theme. So I'm just gonna go here and I'm actually going to buy this. And I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add a balance to my account, blah, blah, blah. So I just bought this theme and now I could pay somebody to install it for me or I could do it myself, which is what I'm gonna do. So I have never used the theme before, but I know how easy they can be. So I just downloaded it. 
Now when you download one of these themes, you're gonna get a zip file and you open it up and you're probably gonna to have to drag that onto your desktop because inside this folder, you're gonna get documentation, which is usually in the form of a, like a web page, which shows you like how to, how to set it up and how to put the bio in and all this other stuff. And you, all the instructions are gonna be in there. And then the actual uh, file is right here. So I'm gonna go into my uh, WordPress backend here, go to appearance and click themes, click upload. And I'm gonna upload this theme. And I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm gonna click promotion and click install now. I'm going to click activate. And now let's take a look at my website. We still have some work to do. So uh, voila, check it out. I've now set up my site to look very similar to this. Boom. That's my site and your site can look just like this. Now it's going to take a little bit of work to get from how your site looks as soon as you install the theme to here. So I'm going to walk you through that. So uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of, it's a little bit of, uh, it's honestly should only take about 10 or 20 minutes. So the first thing you want to do, as you should do anytime you install WordPress, is go over to settings and permalinks and make sure that you change this to post name. That's so that all your posts will have the nice, um, uh, just, you know, domains backslash whatever the name of the page is and not something complicated. So make sure to change your permalinks. Now the next thing you're going to want to do with your theme, let's see here, is just you just want to know that theme settings is going to take you to this section here. And this is where you're going to make some adjustments and insert your photos and things like that. But the first thing we need to do is actually go to pages and then go to add new. Okay, and you need to add the page that's going to be this home page here. And what you're gonna do is you whatever the whatever um, page you create for the template, you're just gonna make sure it says home. So if you go over here to my home page, you're gonna see it's a, it says home right here. And what you do is you want to just put your name in the title. And then this, this is where you want to put your description of yourself. And then you want to put an image here. And you can try to use the browse function. You might have to copy and paste the URL into here. You can see this is my photo. You can put your photo there. And then I also have a background image. And you know, you can really use any I just took a photo that I had taken by Palos Verdes. If you have a nice picture of nature, you know, something something pretty or a picture of yourself in front of nature like she has, you know, she's got some nice photos of herself like in front of a school, you know, that's totally fine. And then you want to go over here to opacity and texture and you want to click this thing over here and put like 30. And that's going to give you that effect that cool like faded effect. Um, and when you create your page, it's not gonna be your domain name. Whatever page you create, make sure you put in the title, the description, the photos, publish the page, and then you go to settings and reading, and you're gonna make sure that your front page is a static page and it's whatever that page is. So I just put it as my name. So now when people go to my website, they see they should see this background image, this image of me, and a little description of myself. And then this menu. Now here's the little nuances to make this look nice. Um, and I, you should have remembered the part in section 14 where I talk about menu, or if you're watching this video somewhere else, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, the menu here is um, something you're gonna create in WordPress. So. Um, the other thing you want to do is, so this part here, the appearance in the menu, theme settings, 
that is what's creating this here and as well as the tech as well as the font so you can put your name put job job title digital strategist digital marketing strategist whatever you want to make it um, you can create a new font size and then they give you like a million fonts to choose from the one I liked uh, Phoenix I think that was pretty cool um, you can choose another one if you want you can also change the color I changed it to a sky blue theme it was orange before um, for fonts you can change the navigation font which is going to change your your menu font here and I like this one Oswald and that's that you can have fun messing around with that now let's go over to menus so um, I just uh, created an about so you're gonna create a few pages here right so you you can make as many pages as you want I just have about me resume and contact now um, these actually came with the theme but I'm gonna create a new page actually because I don't like their page because it kind of stinks for your res for these pages they're just gonna be very simple pages so you just put resume and really you could just you know just type out whatever your resume is you know Google AdWords certified skills you know and then like you know digital strategist digital mark uh, message maximizer the dates you know September 2015 till till present and all my duties duty 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 I love saying duty click this to do a little numbered list and just list it off here and you're gonna get when I preview it you're gonna see it's just gonna be it's very simple you don't need it to be fancy it's just it's on the web it looks professional and there it is so you're gonna have your resume page and you want to publish that and just keep it as default and then you should and you have your, your your about page and your contact page now they have a contact page but honestly this theme is just a little bit annoying to me so I would just create your own contact page and again just keep it very simple Let's put to get in touch with me email me at you know Seth at indemandcareer.com or whatever you want to put there your phone number or whatnot and just publish that and then just go over to the appearance back to the menus and I'm just gonna delete this and delete this and I'm just gonna add these you just click these and click add to menu and just make sure this is collect uh, checked as primary and mobile navigation save the menu now when I reload this, oops, there we go, the home page now about me resume contact. Someone clicks resume and boom. Contact, portfolio, you can put anything you want in these pages, it's very simple, but the important thing in my mind, and I put a little about page, you can put photos in there using WordPress. Um, I just think this, you know, I know that having a home page that looks this nice and clean and professional just immediately screams professionalism to whoever is checking you out. And that's really, um, that's how you do it. So when you go through the process, feel free to refer to this video. Um, you know, it took, actually took me about an hour to figure out how to do all this stuff. But it's, uh, if you just follow the instructions, it's pretty straightforward. And that's it guys, you can make this as you know detailed as you want. You can keep it super simple like I have it here. And it's just a great thing to have on the web. When someone looks up and sees your name.com or .me or whatever it is, then they know this is your website and you look like a pro. So go ahead and do that. And of course, if you have questions, feel free to post them in the forum.